Let's take a deep breath on this one. <sighs> Ready? Jared Kushner's multi-billion dollar, multi-billion dollar, he had no experience investing a single dollar until after he until after Trump left office. But Donald Jared Kushner's multi-billion dollar investment firm could be facing serious conflicts of interest if his father-in-law retakes the White House. The New York Times reports that 99% of the money placed with him by investors has come from foreign sources. That includes Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and United Arab Emirates, all of whom he worked directly with during his time in the Trump White House. My friend Tim O'Brien joins me. He's a senior executive editor at Bloomberg Opinion and, of course, a Trump biographer. He is also one of the only people who has actually seen Donald Trump's tax returns. Plus, he wrote the book, Trump Nation, The Art of Being the Donald. Tim, Jared Kushner, he now says he is confident that if Donald Trump is reelected, all decisions his father-in-law made would be based on what is best for the country and not family business interests. Is he laughing at us saying that? <laughs> Let's start with the beginning of the Trump administration when his sister went to Asia and showed an org chart with her brother's face on it and the White House as she was pitching real estate business and why you should move to the U.S. because you could get a visa here. Or the end of the Trump administration, while Trump was, was leading into January 6th, when Jared was in the Middle East with Steve Mnuchin raising money for their next ventures. Is he laughing in our face trying to say something like this? Um, I think it's, it's even worse than him laughing in our face, Steph. I think he just assumes that everyone is stupid and everyone isn't paying attention. And if you just tick through a number of things, the arc of his own career prior to being in the White House, and then what happened while he was in the White House, it just knocks the foundations, foundations out of this ridiculous explanation he gives for something that is nothing more than influence peddling and raw financial conflicts of interest. He famously got into Harvard after his father made a two and a half million dollar donation to Harvard. He came out of Harvard fully armed with consultant speak and buzzwords about business and being a can-do young man, et cetera, et cetera, with again, having very little to show for it other than his family's own wealth is this enormous cushion that got him launched into the world, which by the way, is very similar to Donald Trump's own trajectory. But um, Tim, here's he the problem. Buys the New York of yeah. Here's the problem. He is now a very rich man. Since he left the Trump White House, he did get $2 billion from MBS. So we might be stupid. We are paying attention, but we might actually be stupid. Because if these conflicts of interest that he clearly has are not illegal, if they're merely frowned upon, he's going to keep on trucking and laugh his way all the way to the bank, which he has done over the last three years. As did Trump. And the problem with this is that we do not have, and even if, um, even if we are fully aware of what's going on and it's deeply baked into our consciousness that, that, that all they are doing is feathering their wallet based on White House access or the ability to shape national policy. The reason it goes on is because the executive branch in the U.S. government is not subject to a rigorous slate of, of conflict of interest rules, as many other parts of the government are. By the way, the Supreme Court is exempt from a lot of these rules, and we've seen the problems that emerge there. That's one of the lessons we've learned from the Trump era in a number of ways, is but that we, we don't have the structures around this office to rein in this kind of behavior. We've seen it. We just have to address it. Congress needs to address it, and, and, and the regulatory structure needs to address it. And until we do, they're going to keep doing this. I but think there's... what is the most aggravating about Jared Kushner is this pablum that comes out of his mouth to explain it. You know, in the Times story today where he acknowledges, you know, he would not, uh, that, that the business interests he's enjoying now came directly out of his experience in the White House. He's simply, yeah, but he's presenting it as if it's anodyne and it's just a fact of existence when, in fact, it's a grotesque problem. 
It's a grotesque problem that our current government has done almost nothing to solve for. During the Trump administration, when we right. saw all of this grotesque business, you and I talked about it all the time, right? The Biden, administra the Biden administration and Democrats said, we need to get this man out of the White House because we need to change the rules so this never happens again. The rules were vague because there was never someone in office like a Donald Trump who would abuse power the way right. he did. Well, he lost, and then none of the rules were changed. And, and, and on top of it, we don't call this for what it is. It's not an investment by the Saudis. It's a bribe. They're, they're giving an untested person who has absolutely no track record as an investor a lush mountain of money that he's allowed to glean huge fees from. And the only reason he's getting that money is his proximity to a past president who may be a future president. And but it's a Tim, hedge by foreign governments that they can influence policy through Jared Kushner. Even if we call it what it is, guess what? Jared can just turn the news off. He can throw the newspaper out. Which there is are what no consequence and there are no consequences for this behavior. He can so 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 we're the fools here. Well, I mean, I think I think the entire Trump era, though, Steph, is is a lesson in why we have to quickly and robustly change these rules. And that's not going to happen until you get a change of control in Congress and you get people that actually look at everything that's happened in the Trump administration and every single loophole that he and his family members have walked through, including Jared Kushner and his former Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin. Both well, of them are reaping business out of their proximity to the White House. Hey, everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.